lots of really interesting things going on here. Okay, and we'll kind of pull this apart and you'll see this in much greater detail. This is like overwhelming. Okay. Um, so actually we'll do it now because you're gonna read about it. Alright, so here we have God in the center, right? Um, very powerful in his stance of judgment. Like look at the musculature. Yeah. Really, really strong. Okay. The angels. Is that the South Side Huh? Well, no, wait, is that all depictions okay. of Marlin? What? Look at, look, they're all playing. What are you being Miss Farrell? <laughs> okay. Um, this actually is right here, and this is a self portrait. Oh, Whoa. Uh, this guy was. Well, yeah, he was it. really tortured. He was really pretty tortured. Okay, so here oh, he is, right? Really that, that makes me feel about, like, Paul God when he wanted to kill himself. What are you noticing? What are you noticing in these, like, smaller smaller images of this? The details of the muscle. The details of the, the muscle. Like, the complete command of, yeah. like, the body, right? Not just, like, surface, but the muscles on the skeleton, the skeleton itself, right? He knew the body kind of inside and out because you really have to, you have to do that to be able to, like as Nick pointed out, like if you turn your body and you're in an awkward pose, you've got to not only know what the body does like standing frontally, but like if you're turning and your foot's up and your arm's up, right? You still, to still depict it with that level of accuracy, right? That means you just completely understand what's going on. individualism here, right? They don't all look the same. We've got the damned over here, right? And the souls here that are being pulled up to heaven, being called to heaven. Like, so there is some serious nasty going on here. And I'm pretty sure that this was the person that criticized, um, look what's happening here. Oh, the snake's like Oh! Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. We'll, we'll, um, He's fighting me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that is the person that came in and criticized the work. Okay, this actually shows the scaffolding, like, that he used. So he was, so there's a theory that he was, like, lying on his back. That's not the case. So he's literally standing up, right? Painting. Okay? This is the before and after. So you can imagine how shocked people were when they discovered that he really had this like amazing command of color. And it wasn't like as dull as it got over time. How did they restore it? Did they just like wash it off over time? Yeah, like really simply. You know, not with like, I, I think it was, honestly I think it was just like water and a very mild soap. <laughs> you see some dogs. So, paint. This is paint. This is all paint. Okay. So this shows like over time what they were able to um, clean off and recover. Okay, so you guys are going to take um, a break because it's six o'clock. All right, so take like a five minute break and then you're going to come back in and we're going to spend 10 minutes reading this article about Michelangelo and about the Sistine Chapel. Okay? Yay.